can you believe, like, can you really believe that I failed the same math class three times? Like, one, two, three. Have you ever failed anything that many times? The same thing? Like, you tried, you tried, you tried, and it just didn't work out? Well, I'm going to tell you today how me failing a math class three times, what that's taught me about podcasting. Man, let's, let's go to the intro. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. Are you ready? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, family? And welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. And the purpose and the premise of this show is ultimately to let you know, right? To let you know and provide you with the tools to help you to build your platform, to help you to profit on purpose with your podcast, right? So if that's something that you're interested in, I would encourage you just to go to my website, jonathanjonespeaks.com forward slash mentor, and you can find out everything that there is to know about the podcast and even find information about working with me there. So I want to take it back, right? Going back to high school, and I remember Miss Winston. Shout out to Miss Winston. One day she passed out our test, right? This is algebra. She passed out the test, boom, going down the aisle, boom, one test for you, one test for you, one test for you, one test for you. And the part where it got really tricky was I started looking at the problems on the test. And for me, I don't know about you, but for me, when it came to math, I would look at the problems down the whole test and I realized I don't understand any of this. So the anxiety was building up, the stress. And I got to the point to where I raised my hand and I'm crying at this point. And I'm like, Miss Winston, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Miss Winston, I think I need to go to the other math class because I'm not ready for this. She said, Jonathan, just take the test and then we'll see how you do. You'll be fine. Okay, you'll be fine. She told me that. Okay, just to get me to take the test, I'm sure. But then when I got my grade back, I knew I wasn't going to be fine because that grade was at least like a 64. Okay, and that might be being generous because I used to get football scores for math tests. But what I realized after having to take that class twice, okay, then I went on to college and I had to take the remedial math class three times as well. But thinking about all of this, the thing that I really took away, I was like, well, what am I supposed to learn from this? I started to improve in math when I started to take intentional and deliberate effort at getting better at math. John, what are you saying? What I'm saying was when I realized that I wasn't going to perform well on Ms. Winston's test, then I would start to show up and set a time with her to where I can then come in, get extra work, get extra help on problems, on strategy, on solving the issues and the the homework that I didn't understand initially. How was that relevant to podcasting? With podcasting, ultimately, it's the same thing. The more time you invest into perfecting your message, into perfecting making your better points, into perfecting your transitions, into using intro music and outro music and calls to action, the more time you invest in those things, the better you'll become. Because in high school, I struggled. I eventually passed with a C, praise God. But then when I got to college, I forgot the way that I was putting in place or putting in practice those actions And then I failed the math class again. For one, I scheduled an eight o'clock math class and I was not a morning person at that time. So I would show up to class and I would fall asleep. Of course, I failed. The second time I said, "Okay, what can I do different? So I showed up to class and I actually started taking notes. All right. I started taking notes, but then I went home and didn't really lock in extra time in my homework. So then I. I failed. Hello. But the third time I remembered, well, when I was in Miss Winston's class in high school, what I used to do was I would take time, get to know the teacher and then get extra help with my homework. So then 
when it came to college and it's the third time and they're like jonathan if you don't pass the test this time you're gonna have to boom 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 go back to level one and start all over and i'm like whoa 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 mm -mm, i can't do that i can't do that so then i asked her what else is there that i could do she said well jonathan i don't have the time to help you but she said right across there there's a tutoring center they have people in there. They open up early in the morning. They stay open way till late at night. You can go in there and you can get help with your math homework. Friends, that moment, that was when I said, well, maybe I should start taking time and I should build relationships with those people and I should make sure that I complete my homework before I leave school. All right. Once again, how does this apply to you being a podcaster? We can get comfortable in just putting out the episode, just putting it out. Good episode. Just put it out. Just put it out. Just share it. Just drop it, whatever. But we don't take the time to see where we can improve and how we can further perfect the message and further perfect the concept, further perfect our promotion, our strategy, our rollout. So let us be intentional about seeing how we can further improve the quality of our show. Because if we put more quality into our show, then when we put it out to the people, they'll see how much we're improving. They'll begin to engage and ask us other questions. And then when they begin to engage, ask us questions and do everything like that. Now we're not just building fans or followers but we're building lifelong relationships and community through our podcast platform. Family, as you all know, or maybe you don't, I would encourage you, you know, to make sure to get connected with me. Uh, you know, we can go to jonathanjonespeaks.com forward slash mentor. And there you can find everything related to the podcast, how you can work with me and some, some other cool stuff's on that page as well. But I would love to hear from you. What were your thoughts about the episode? You know, what were your takeaways? Was it beneficial for you? What would you like to hear? But family, once again, it's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. Today, we unpacked just what I learned from failing math class three times and what that taught me about podcasting. I hope you got something today that will help you in your podcast journey. It's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones, and I'm here ultimately to help you build your platform so that you can profit from your podcast on purpose. Jonathan Jones here signing out. Peace and God bless.